Hey, this is Joe Applebaum, CEO of Ajax Union and founder of Evie AI. And I was just hired by Emily Carter to help kind of redo her profile. You see, she has a very uh, open profile. She doesn't really have any connections. So the first thing I'm going to do for her as a real estate agent is I'm going to customize her public URL. So you see on the top right here, it says public profile and URL. I'm going to click on this little pencil here. I'm going to click on it. It's going to take me to her public profile settings. I'm going to click on this little pencil and I'm going to take off all those numbers and all the dashes. And it's just going to be linkedin.com slash I slash Emily Carter. It's not available. So in this case, I'm just going to do Emily Carter real estate. Okay. I'm going to press save. And now her LinkedIn URL is linkedin.com slash IN slash Emily Carter real estate. Okay. So that's done. Also going to make sure that all her profile settings are set up correctly. Public, public, public. Perfect. Okay. So now Emily has a public profile that is set up correctly. Now I'm going to start by giving her a nice little background banner. So she works for eXp Realty. So let's find an eXp Realty background banner that she can just copy from somebody else. So we're just going to click on people over here and we're going to find somebody else. We're going to control click on just a few just to see what their background banners look like. So this guy has one over here. Don't love it. This one has one here. It's for his group. Don't love those either. I'm going to control click on a few more. This one's pretty nice, but she's part of a team, it looks like. I'm going to control click on a couple more over here just to kind of see what these look like here. Let's see. Realtor, you don't have access to this profile. Okay, so she's not really connected to anybody, so she's not going to really have access to a lot of people. Let's see. I like this one here, Chief Growth Officer for EXP Realty. I'm actually, let me see, the lead team, EXP Realty. So the, these people all have custom custom backgrounds here. So I'm going to look. So it looks like she can't really access too many people here. So the other thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to search EXP Realty LinkedIn background banner on Google. See what comes up. Click on images. And now you can see there's quite a few here. I kind of like this one here. This one's also really cute. I'm going to right click on this one here and I'm going to save image as. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm just going to call it EXP. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go back to her profile. I'm going to click on me, view profile, click on this little pencil sign, click upload photo, take on this EXP to download, press apply. And now I have an EXP banner. It's not the best banner in the world. It's a little grainy. You see that it's a tiny bit grainy. Um, later, I'm going to go into Canva and I'm going to create a custom banner for her with her contact information, her email address and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to click on this little pencil on the top right corner here. And over here, I'm going to change her pronoun to custom and I'm going to write real, real estate agent, advisor, advisor, just like that real estate advisor. I'm going to press save. And now next to her name there, you see it says Emily Carter, real estate advisor, right next to her name. Amazing. Now I'm going to click this little pencil here and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to uh, add a website over here, a uh, link to our website. So in this case, I'm going to put the LinkedIn URL there, HTTP colon slash slash www.linkedin.com slash IN slash Emily Carter real estate. Okay. So I'm going to put that there and you see it appears right under her profile. So later we'll put her actual website over there, but I just wanted to show you how important it is to have that here. So it actually looks really good. Um, I'll, I'll put her, you know, her Instagram, her other profiles in here as well to kind of show you how I do that. Okay. Moving on. So that was just a few minutes. We did her background banner. We optimized her profile URL. As you can see, it changed over here on top. It changed here. Now we're going to change her headline. Oh, we also did her pronoun. Now we're going to change her headline over here. We're going to go down to where it says headline, real estate agent for eXp Realty, helping home owners in Florida sell their home 
and buy the home, the house of their dreams. Okay. And now I'm going to do hashtag Emily Carter real estate. Um, and then I'm going to do email me Emily Carter real estate at gmail.com. Okay. I'm going to press save. And now she has her email address front and center. makes it really easy for people to email her. That's beautiful. You see that makes it life. So, so easy. Now we need to get an about section for her profile. She, I'm going to click on more here. See what we have add profile section and I'm missing an about section. So I'm going to add an about section, but in this case, I'm going to use a tool called Evie AI to get her about section going. Let's go into Evie AI. So how do you get to Evie AI? You go to evyai.com. We're going to press get started. And we're going to create an account for her real quick to make it really easy to create an account. We're just going to click sign in. It's going to ask what her email is. It's Emily Carter real estate at Gmail. I'm going to press insert continue. And now we have an account with Evie AI. And once you sign in for the free, free uh, account that you just sign up, you have the option to go to create a persona. So we're going to create a persona on the top right here. We're going to do add a persona and we're going to call the persona Emily Carter. And we're going to make it a person industry, real estate. Uh, her tone is going to be informative. Her keywords are going to be real estate, Florida agent, exp, Realty. A background. We're going to put some background information about her now. All right. I'm going to write, I'm Emily Carter, your dedicated real estate partner here in St. Petersburg, Florida, with over a decade of experience. I specialize in helping clients find their perfect homes or investments in a vibrant community. Whether you're looking to buy or sell in St. Pete, I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Let's connect and start with this journey. I look forward to helping you achieve your goals. My email is Emily Carter Real Estate at gmail.com. Let's connect. All right. I'm going to press save persona. I'm also going to say I am an, oh, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to edit this persona. I'm going to say I am an agent. I'm an, I am an advisor for exp realty. Okay. I'm going to press update persona. And now we have this persona ready. I'm going to press uh, profile optimizer here. See, it says profile optimizer. I'm going to select that particular persona. I'm going to select the tone of happy. The goal is going to be, I would say brand building in this case. I'm going to press generate. Let's see. I'm going to have to put in some, create a LinkedIn about section. I'm going to press generate. And let's see what happens. Okay, look what it wrote up for me. It wrote up uh, target market, problem solve, background information, what we do, how we do it, your next step. I like it. That's cool. However, I want to give a little more information over here. So I'm going to go into the command and I'm just going to put in some details here. Like Emily Carter is an inviting presence with a warm smile, approachable demeanor, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to hit regenerate and see what it gives me. Um, and I can also leave here because all the things are saved, but look at this. Oh, wow. This is very good, but I'm not going to copy this right now. I'll show you how I can copy it again later. I'm going to click on personas. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to enter, enter, and then paste that there. So that updates her persona. So when I leave comments, it's going to update her persona with that. Okay. Excellent. So what are we doing now? We're going to go back to the homepage. We're going to see all recent activities and we're going to choose one of these. So do we like this one or do we like the most recent one? I personally like the most recent one. This one looks cool. I'm going to press allow all cookies. I'm going to press copy. I'm going to go back into LinkedIn and I'm just going to paste this in here just like this. You see, welcome to the Emily Carter's LinkedIn profile. Um, I'm just going to put in as a real estate agent for NDX Realty, helping you find your home. Let's connect. And then people hopefully will hit the show more button. I'm going to say click on show more. 
Are you looking to buy or sell or invest? Blah, blah, blah. I'm a local expert. I'm a genuine. My experience is this. Building lasting relationships. Join me. Uh, I'm going to delete where it says powered by Evy AI. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it in there. Why not? I'm going to press save. Okay. And now she has an about section right over here. You see that? There's a nice little about section there. Now I'm going to go back into Evy AI and I'm going to ask Evy AI to write an introduction post. I'm going to go to the post writer. I'm going to write an introduction post. I'm going to do motivational. I'm going to click on Emily Carter and I'm going to say, please create a welcoming conversational introduction post for LinkedIn. I'm going to press generate and it's going to write a post. Now the beauty of this tool is that it's going to write a post with a hook, main points, call to action, and also keep in mind everything related to like eXp Realty and everything else, um, all the core values and so on. So check it out. Beautiful. As an advisor for eXp Realty, I have the cutting edge of data. Okay, so beautiful. I'm going to press copy now. So now it's going to copy this post, and I'm going to go into LinkedIn right here, and I'm going to click on post, just like this. You see this? But now I'm going to go grab an image and use that image real quick. So let me go grab an image. Okay, how do you find the image? You click on this little add media, and then I'm going to click on pictures, Emily Carter, and this one here is of her arms crossed with a just sold sign next to her, nicely zoomed in. I'm going to press next. And she's ready to embark on the exciting new journey in real estate. Hello, everyone. Allow me to introduce myself. I just joined LinkedIn. I'm so excited. And I'm going to tag myself, Emily Carter. And I'm going to press post. Just like that. All right, now Emily Carter has a post. I'm going to click the three dots on this post over here, and I'm going to feature this post on the profile. So now not only does the, the post have an image, a background photo, first name, last name, a, a pronoun with a keyword, a really great headline, a city and state, a link, which we're going to optimize in a few minutes, um, but it also has an about section that's fully written by Evy AI and it has a featured post and it also has another post right over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create some comments because there's no comments over here. So we're going to go back to Evy AI. On the left side here, we're going to click on add Evy AI to Chrome. Bottom left, way bottom left. I click on it. It's going to take me to Google Chrome. I'm going to do add to Chrome. It's going to say, are you sure you want to add it? I'm going to say yes, add the extension to Google Chrome. And this is going to allow me to start leaving comments on people's posts. Okay, so now I press OK, but the little button disappeared from up here. So I'm going to follow the instructions, pin the extension. How do I do that? I'll click on the extension button over here. Then I click on this little pin button here. Okay, so I just pinned the extension. Now it shows up here. Then it says log into your account. So I click on this. It'll take me into LinkedIn. Once LinkedIn loads, it didn't open up. So I'm going to click on it again, and it's already logged in. Look at that. Okay, now that I'm already logged in, that's perfect. Now I'm going to go find people that I can post on. So this guy over here, Adam Kaufman, New Business Development. I'm going to click on this little button here. I'm going to select my Emily Carter persona. I'm going to press generate. It's going to read my whole persona. Congratulations, Adam. Your expertise is undeniable. Beautiful. And now I'm going to tag him. And I'm going to press post. And now I just left a comment. Now my comments are visible to others on my post. So let's go see what that looks like here. So now there's a new tab here that says posts, comments, and images. Before it just said posts and images. Now it says posts, comments, and images, which I love. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now that I left the comment, I'm going to send some more connections. Let's see if I can actually send a, oh, look at this. I think people are already starting to connect with me. Let's see, catch up. I don't really have any connections yet. Um, but if I do, let's see, should I sign up for this newsletter? I'm just going to ignore this, ignore this right now, but let's see if I can send a connection request here. It says your weekly limit has been reached. Okay. So I'll wait till next week to start sending more connection requests. Cause I did, they did ask me to connect with a bunch of people and I just sent a bunch of connection requests. 
So I'll wait a little bit longer to send more connection requests. But in the meantime, what am I going to do? I'm going to find people that have been posting and I'm going to leave, give them likes and leave thoughtful comments using Evy AI. And the reason I'm going to do that is because that's going to allow me to get in front of them and also get in front of their audience. You see that? I may not have any followers right now, which is fine, but I do have a really nice image and a really nice background photo and a really nice headline. And, and I did post. You see that? I did post. And I'm going to take the right actions to help me be able to start getting connections. So what are the, some of those right actions? So let's see, Barbara, Barbara Corcoran. Barbara Corcoran is an influencer. So I'm going to save her profile into my Evy AI account. So this way, whenever I go into Evy AI and I click on save profiles, I'm going to see Barbara here. And I can just click on see recent activity for Barbara. And then I could just leave comments on Barbara's latest posts, which keeps me top of mind with all her followers. And hopefully there are going to be some home buyers there that will notice me and help me be able to get where I need to go. Now, I'm going to invest in upgrading Evy AI so it automatically removes this powered by Evy AI because it just makes sense for me to spend a couple, you know, like 50 cents a day to use Evy AI. It's really affordable. And how do I upgrade? I'm going to go to the app.evy AI. I'm going to click on upgrade subscription on the bottom left or on the top right over here. And then I have different options. If I'm getting it for my team, I would just click on teams and I would select how many team members I have and I'll save a couple dollars. If I'm just getting it for myself, I could just prepay for the year at $17 a month. Or I could just pay monthly, which is $34 a month or $29 a month for my team if I'm choosing monthly. But of course, I'm going to choose annual. I'm going to choose upgrade to premium. It's going to automatically take me to Stripe. And then I just have to pay for the year, which is $204. And then boom, Emily now has this amazing software for the year. So stay tuned because Emily is going to have thousands of connections, build up her profile, automations are going to be set up. And if you want to see the way Emily grows her account and becomes a really successful real estate advisor on LinkedIn, stay tuned, leave a comment. Let me know if this was helpful for you as a real estate advisor, if you're watching this or in any other place. Once again, my name is Joe Applebaum, CEO of Ajax Union, a B2B digital marketing agency. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you, getting to know you, and helping you grow your business. Boom.